Roughly nine years ago, I arrived in a beautiful part of New Zealand with many attractive walking paths. I jumped off my bags in a hostel and found the closest trail. I didn't really know where I was going, but that had never stopped me before. Three hours later, I came to an intersection with signs indicating rough walking times for three different paths. I could have gone back the way I came, continued forward for another three hours, or gone to the same destination, um, but by taking a, a different route, the, the third path, if you will. As you might expect, I took the third option, but starting was harder than expected. I had to climb up rocks just to get on to the trail. Still, that made it all the more fun. It was getting late, so I decided to jog a little, slowing down when the path became narrow. At one point, it became so narrow that I almost came to a stop. I moved forward at a snail's pace, looking ahead and taking every step carefully. Yet, one step could have been my last. I had walked across many fallen leaves already, but as I went to step on this latest set, they gave way, and there was nothing underneath them. I fell, and gravity started to take me towards a drop that would certainly have killed me. Luckily, I managed to reach up and grab a branch hanging off the path's edge. The strangest thing happened. I didn't feel fear or anxiety. I felt power. Adrenaline kicked in, and a strength rifled through me. It was like nothing I had ever felt, and it gave me the energy to pull myself back up and back to the path of safety. It might be worth noting that I hadn't before and have never since been able to complete a, uh, a pull-up. I jogged most of the way back to the hostel, feeling more alert than ever. I mentioned to the hostel owner um, which trail I had chosen, although I didn't specify the details of my walk. He looked concerned. Didn't you see the sign? He inquired. The trail was closed because of falling rocks and broken paths. Hmm. Well, reality didn't really kick in until later that evening. Shaking, shivering, scared and overwhelmed, I sat alone on the hostel sofa and realised just how close I had come to death. At the same time, I felt truly alive. <laughs>